Hey guys, here I'm John, coming to another Infinite Magic Raid video. This one, what we're gonna talk about, as you will see here as I start up this run, um, I wanna talk about a few things where I've noticed in Infinite Magic Raid that have been a real struggle uh, playing is free to play, right? Like I'm at this point of recording, this is probably 75 days in, but as of recording right now, I'm 72 days into the game right now, free to play friendly. Um, I haven't bought a single thing. I haven't spent a single penny in the game. All I've done is use the resources uh, or the, the uh, codes for redeeming um, special gifts in game, right? That have been provided to everybody. So I don't have any type of strategic advantage over anyone else. Now, with that being said, I can't for the life of me beat stage 25 and I have a pretty core team here. Now, Gahana, Maya, and Zaya, they're solid champions. They synergize so very well, they work well together. We're mitigating damage, we're healing, we're putting up shields, we're putting up attack up. We're doing a lot of things very, very well here. Um, however, Rum Stage 25 is just getting me completely wiped. I cannot do it. Um, the only thing I can think of though, is the simple fact of, um, I currently have all these champions in some sort of a leech gear, right? I currently, uh, for example, Zaya is in a full on um, fearless set. Now, fearless is okay because it's 15% crit rate leech and mastery. Now, what I'm gonna be looking for here, and the reason why I bring this up is because crit rate here, I want 15% crit rate, or I want slayer gear, which is like 10% and 15% crit damage. Like I need that increase in damage. So what I'm thinking is, is we're gonna try, we're gonna try this. We're gonna try to see what we can come up with as a build guide. If we can just swap some champions to damage, if that makes the biggest difference, stay tuned. Let's see if it even works for one stage. It probably won't. Let's just check it out. All right, so first things first, let's first talk about who am I bringing in that fight? So unfortunately, it's one of those situations where we gotta think of, okay, well, how does this dungeon work? When we look at this dungeon, you can kind of see, you can get a good idea of who does everyone else bring in here. Um, one thing when we look at this is hero popularity. We can see that Wim, Lisa, are super, or Liz are super popular with space. Uh, these are all basic freebies, I would call them. I wouldn't guarantee Wim as a freebie so to speak, or I guess Liz technically, but chances are by the time you're to this point, you're, you, you've acquired one, right? In space. So what this tells me is top four champions here, out of the top four here, we have a, a turn meter manipulator, a shielder support unit, a healer, and also damage to it, right? Like overall, like when we talk about what Liz can do, she's damaged and she's HP burning, right? which is huge. We all know HP burn itself is very, very popular. It does a lot of damage. So essentially you have you have a really, really good synergy right here in these top, well, in the top four with three of them, right? So what does that tell me as a player when I'm trying to figure out what do I need to be doing? Let's go look at the other champions being used. Currently you got Hez, you got Moelia, you got Sigmund, you got Oakman. Um, so you got a lot of burn, you get a lot of burning going on right now, right? Hell of a lot of burning. You have Catherine, amazing support, top tier support. Ascendo, once again, top tier support. You have Zaya, which is a straight DPS. So Zaya is in there as just a damage dealer completely. Margarita, she's a free damage dealer that everyone gets. Um, so that's solid, right? So this tells you that I have two, these two champions, right? Um, and I even have Wim here, right? I have Wim and I technically have space, but we, we can replace her with Gahana. So this tells me if I use Wim, Gahana, uh, Margarita, Zaya, that, that's that's four of the top 10. Is that how this works? Absolutely not. It's, you gotta think of the synergy, right? And that's what I think we're struggling on is the fact that we gotta think of how far the team or works together. And then we have Maya down here at the bottom, 7% of the time for the run. This is gonna be for the ones where they actually need a healer. What I'm proposing is, we already have Zaya in really good fearless gear. Like she's just already in good fearless gear. Uh, there would be no sense in swapping her out because we already get the crit rate from that, right? However, Marg is not necessarily in fearless gear, right? She's got fearless there and then she's got leech for her weapon and for her boots. Now, the problem with this though is the boots are leech, which is huge because that's the speed bonus, right? However, if we could possibly get some crit rate with speed boots, which we, we do, we have them right here, right? Which would be huge. It, and or 
if we were to get Slayer. So let's see what we have for Slayer. Do we have any boots here that are six star with Slayer? Probably not. We get some five stars that have attack HP percent. Oof, that's pretty bad. Um, but either way, the, the thought process here is let's boost up the amount of crit rate we have here and maybe crit damage to give us a leeway, to give us that maybe that bond ahead. Because right now we have crit here. Let's go ahead and let's get it on the feet here for this one as well. So if we go crit rate under the crit rate tab, which gives us 15%, which is more than anything, uh, which as you can see here, um, if I were to replace this, there's no crit rate on this piece here and there's 3.2% uh, here. So really this would drop by 3.2%. So I'd automatically gain 12%. Anything more on crit rate is just gonna be a bonus. So let's go ahead and let's grab this one here and it has crit damage on it, effect hit, HP rate, defensive rate. Uh, as you see here, I lose a little bit of attack, but that's okay. I'm not losing a whole lot and I do lose some leech. That is un unfortunate. Now let's pick out the weapon. Uh, weapon wise, oh crap, we don't have any crit rate weapons. Um, so that's very unfortunate. Now, what does that mean though? Can I pick out something else? Yeah, probably. I could probably pick out like um, we could probably go with this asset here. I think maybe yeah because we got crit rate, HP, and speed on this one. This would be worth going and I went ahead and upgrading here, um, and this would give us our crit rate, right? Uh, but then we got to figure out our fearless set. So let's go see what we can figure out for fearless if we have anything else in the fearless tab. And this is kind of how we're gonna switch over from going straight up um, leech to. Maybe taking a slight chance on things and seeing if we can go for something else. So it does not look like we have anything else um, that'll pair nicely with these, unfortunately. It looks like we got uh, boots, a helm. Okay, so our boots, chest. Yep. Hmm. So really, we'd have to go full on. We got to get rid of all leech technically for her oh that's see that's where like, this gets dangerous and that's why i feel like it's kind of hard to do these swaps right because now we're really opening ourselves up to some vulnerability here because we got to look at okay i can get this one on right slayer slayer's huge right so if we go slayer here uh i'm gonna say re replace that one with slayer so now we need a crit rate and a slayer piece right so now we need another crit rate um crit rate wise i have do i have anything else that has crit rate on it um just that which is unfortunate unfortunate because that would be what we want let's go ahead and let's upgrade this to 16 we'll equip this one okay and equip that one and then we're gonna go ahead and let's see so now we need to find a um a chest and a weapon that's slayer so now we need a chest okay so here's an hp ooh speed crit rate okay there's a chest and we need a weapon and we need a weapon. There's crit rate on this weapon. Uh, that's pretty decent, actually, to be honest with you. So let's go ahead and let's upgrade this one. We're gonna take this all the way up to 16. Um, double crit rate, crit damage, HP rate. Oh, wow, that, I got really lucky on that one. I hate that it's uh, only a five star, but it, it, I got really lucky, I'm not gonna lie there. Uh, we have attack there. Let's go this one here. This has speed, a little bit of speed here. Let's go ahead and grab that bad boy. Enhance, done. Okay, so now we're fully 16. Uh, and we have crit rate Slayer. So now we're at 80% crit rate currently, which is pretty good. Um, in my personal opinion, that's very, very good. Crit rate's maxed out here, which is great. We have attack, we have speed here, which is huge. Um, it'd be so nice if I could get another speed to drop. Uh, I'm just throwing it out there, world. But anyways, so that changes her completely into a DPS build. So now let's go see does this make the difference? Does this bring home the cheddar here if we allow her to do a little bit more damage? Because she's also doing AOE damage, right? So it's one of those situations where thinking of your champions and how to do this properly, is this gonna be the correct switch or not? I don't know. Um, my thought process is, is I know I'm struggling here because maybe I am using a lot of crappy gear. Maybe I'm using a lot of leech gear. Maybe I'm using gear that's not necessarily conducive to doing the damage I need to be doing, but more so the what I think is the safe route to go. Uh, it may make more sense for her just to do a lot more damage because now she's going to crit. And not, the nice thing is she's AOE, right? So when she does her AOE attack um, with an attack up, right, she's got more chance to crit. Now you just notice she just attacked Hazaro there. She almost, ooh, so she died, which is unfortunate. So that didn't work out totally in my favor, but she almost two shot Hazaro. So that does, definitely tells me that maybe this is a better route to go by having her in this route range. Now, 
it doesn't matter for Zaya because I already have her in Fearless set. So it's not like I'm losing on a crit rate. Now I could be gaining some crit damage if I was going Slayer with her. So it becomes, it does become a matter of question. Um, I could potentially take out Gahana. I could leave Maya. I could leave women. I could leave Zaya as she is, Margarita, and maybe bring in the other DPS champion and just see where that gets me. So let's go ahead and let's keep pushing this forward. I don't think we make this even slightly here. This is stage 25. I think we're still a ways out, unfortunately, from really being able to push this. But we could also bring in um, Sylvie, right? And see if she can do it and clear it for me because her ultimate also always crits, which is very nice. But if the rest of her crits, that could be even better as far as overall damage goes. Because once again, she's in Leech as well. And it doesn't seem to matter because it's almost as if I'm sacrificing too much of my DPS to really achieve the desired goal. Um, I don't have anything to necessarily prove that currently, but as you can see from this build here, um, clearly it may it has made some sort of a difference because we are, it looks like we can almost finish stage 20, 25 here um, and use Mark, right? And that was one of those things where I didn't think we were gonna be able to do that. Now, Gahana seems to be really be saving the day here because she is damage mitigation be, as long as she's alive, which is huge. Uh, but I think it looks like Maya is going to keep everyone alive here. And that tells me that I could potentially take out Gahana in general uh, because Maya is doing such a good job of having those heals up. And then between Maya and Wim with the shields, it seems to be pretty consistent. Uh, we're 151 turns into Rum here and we're on the last boss um let's see we're 85 percent in so we probably have just enough time probably have just enough time uh, i think stage 26 is going to be way too hard if we do beat this one i don't think there's any chance of it yeah so we just lost Wim, so that's going to be a gg uh because he was really the glue there keeping up with the heels or not the heels sorry the shields that we really needed um unfortunately even maya with her her current ability it's not going to work uh she'll stay alive for a long time right because she can take she's got that death death saving because she's uh, e 3 there. But what we noticed here, what we really noticed is the fact that we didn't necessarily, so we had women here, we had Maya in here. We noticed that we could potentially take her out of this, this, this equation and put in Sylvie. Now Sylvie is gonna be weak element, which is unfortunate, but if we focus the boss, it doesn't really matter. So we can try that, but now let's look at Sylvie. Now does she need to go into attack gear? Is that, is that, the, is that the play call? Because notice she also is in Fearless, and she's in the other one, other leech set. So we need to actually swap her out of a weapon and a amulet to really convert her over to damage. So really that's gonna be here, but we can't do that, right? So we need to go ahead and look at crit damage. We do have plenty for crit damage. Um, do we have anything for Slayer set? That would be actually even better, guys, if we had Slayer. Okay, I got an amulet and then I need a weapon. I don't have a weapon, so that's unfortunate. So we lose that completely. So let's go ahead and let's just go crit damage because, I mean, at this point, that's just the better option to go. That's speed. Okay, cool. And there's six stars right here. Perfect. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll take both those six stars because, I mean, why the hell not? Let's go. Um, speed or HP or crit rate would be cool. Just throwing it out there. Not gonna happen. All right, whatever. Twelve. So, but I right, cool. So we got uh, double speed on that, which is really, really, really good. And then we'll go ahead and do this one. We'll enhance twelve as well. Boom, done. All right, but cool. So now this is a fearless. This is a lot of crit damage. Fifty-five percent crit rate. Um, it's just fine. It's not. Uh, it's not as super high as you'd really like to see it, but it's okay. Attack rate. That was good. That was a good roll. Uh, crit damage, triple crit damage. That's insane. Hello. On a six star already. Dope. Let's go. Uh, that's actually a very good roll. I'll take that all day long. Okay. So let's try this one and let's just fire it up very quickly, guys, just to see if this makes a difference. Because we figured out, we determined that we didn't think we needed a Gahana to actually make this work, right? So let's just try it and see if switching to attack at this particular stuck point makes a difference. That's basically the, the, what we're trying to get after here is everyone's going to test. And I could tell you guys, hey, let's do this, let's do that. I think this is gonna make more sense. But until we actually test it and see what the results look like, you have no idea. So right now, currently, we have Marg and we have um, Sylvie without any type of leech, really. Like, they have a little bit of leech from Fearless, but not a lot, right? So they're DPS-driven. 
HP wise, they seem to be doing okay. Maya's keeping them kind of keeping them healed here. Uh, overall damage output, um, I'm not noticing a major increase. Mari's gone, everyone died. Yep, so I didn't notice a big increase. And I think that was just RNG where Hazaro landed a little too much damage and just wrecked us. Um, it's things like those. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say this conclusive, conducive, so to speak, that switching from lifesteal to, or leech, sorry, to uh, crit rate and attack really makes the most difference here. But at least you can see here, you can see what I saw. Um, I, I kind of need to run this again to get a better idea. And I, maybe I will and we'll, we'll have a different conclusion. But as of right now, it doesn't look like it matters. I think really the fact that going from 25 to 26, uh, going really from 24 to 26 and clearing 24, 26 is probably the biggest hurdle in the game. And that's really, I, I, it really sounds very deeply in me where I feel like that is the absolute problem. Um, hopefully they'll adjust this. Hopefully they'll take these, these videos, these comments um, to heart, make them a little bit different and better for you guys. Um, if not, it is what it is. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I wanted to go through that whole process for you, show you how to equip gear, show you my thought process behind it. Maybe that'll help you yourself when kind of thinking about what makes the most sense for your guys. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.